Oh, I didn't even press record. See, all you got to do is press record, right? <laughs> yeah, man, we are back in the building. It is your boy, the D-O-R, and I got another video for you guys. This one might shake you a little bit, all right? I'm, I'm just giving you all a warning. This video right here might shake you a little bit and... It's one of our, our our own that has lost the plot. So without further ado, let me take that back to where it needs to be. And let's get into it. Hey, my baby. What's the address of the emergency? Hey, my baby. My baby was shot. My baby is a shot. Who was it that shot them? Her, it was her grandma. That's wild. You don't rape and pillage the earth and think you don't get judged. Taking all the resources out of the land, racking and killing up the buffaloes, and now we ain't got nothing. On December 9th, 2023, in Liberty Township, Ohio, 43 year old Mia Desiree Harris is accused of shooting her six month old granddaughter, Myra, in a brutal rampage. As devastated family members rush to save the child, investigators are left with the daunting task of uncovering what could have possibly driven her to commit such an unthinkable crime. It's when she's left alone in the following never-before-seen interrogation that her shocking revelations, twisted messages, and sinister motives begin to surface. Did she say anything when she handed you the baby? She just, she had a smile on her face. Okay. She was smirking. Told y'all you was your own Wait. The grandmother was smirking after hurting a baby? <laughs> this is chess. Not checkers. It's 1.50 a.m. when a Butler County emergency dispatcher answers the 911 call of a distraught mother. Someone shot my baby. Hurry, please. Someone shot your baby? Yes, ma'am, please. Okay, ma'am, they're coming. Ma'am, how old's your baby? She is six months old. Hurry. Okay, okay, are you. Okay, ma'am, is is the person still there? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I think so. Okay, who was it that shot them? They're coming, ma'am. Who was it that shot them? It was her grandma. Where is the baby, ma'am? It's in my arms. I'm trying to hold pressure to the wound. I don't Okay, where did where is the baby shot? I don't know. I'm trying to find I think in her neck. I think she shot twice. Destiny. Destiny. Sometimes these 911 dispatch sensors, I don't know, man, you guys need more training, better training. <laughs> you can tell she's the person you're trying to talk to is in distress. Their baby is dying. There's no point yelling their name. That's Tenay. That's Tenay. There is no point doing that. Send help. That's all they need from you is to send help. When you send help, let these, I mean, is the person still around? Are they still, is, is the danger gone or is the danger still around? That's an important question to ask. But as far as like trying to gather information, like, I don't know, man, go to hell. Don't, don't, when I'm, when I'm in a distressing situation, I would not answer you. Mia, who had fled the scene, was seen driving into oncoming traffic down the interstate. She was quickly intercepted by the police. Oh stop, stop. Step out! On your face, now! I got lethal. I got hands. I got hands. Got it. So she, she, tried, she tried to run away. 41 one in custody. Yeah, you're going to jail. Stand up. As Mia was apprehended in a state of undress, officers at the station bring her a sweater and a pair of shoes, 
before leaving her to wait for investigators to arrive. More of the earlier 911 call shed some light on her state of mind. Do you know why your grandma did this? Because she was mad that she's going crazy. Six-month-old Myra was rushed to the University of Cincinnati Westchester Hospital before being flown to a separate hospital oh, for no emergency way. care. Her condition was critical. What we're doing? Hmm. You tell me. You record it. I God. Just tell me that baby made it. Tell me that baby made it. Please tell me that baby made it. I didn't even, I didn't even, wait. Grandma snaps and shoots baby in the head. You're trying to tell me this baby survived? Wait, you're trying to tell me this baby here survived? Wow. Let's keep going, man. Unless you be with me, my money. Because I don't need that shit. I don't care about you having my ID or none of that. I want my shit. You can't deny what you did to the body, though. You can't deny what you did to me. Run me my money. What? Run me my You don't break me, pillage the earth, and think you don't get judged. Her patience runs thin. Wait, sir, before... You realize what she's talking about? She's talking about racism and slavery, rep rep reparations. That's what she's talking about. She's telling you guys after arresting her that you got to pay her. Like you can't go free from hurting everyone on the earth and then get away for free. Is this, you, but you, lady, you do not hurt your own child and talk racism. That, my friend, is black-on-black -black crime. It's worse than racism. It's worse than racism. That's black-on-black -black crime, right? The fact that you can hurt your own kid as a, as a grandparent, why? And you're sitting here talking about reparations and what these people did to you? Not even you, like your, your, your ancestors. It's not you. That you want to talk about that? That is crazy to me. I think this lady, she's probably, ha she's having a breakdown, right? A mental breakdown, but from a very, very severe angle. Because that doesn't, that's not normal at all. But uh, let's, let's keep going, man. Long before her behavior rapidly descends into even more violence. Judge not let you be judged. This is not greed. This is right. Make it right. You done raped and pillaged the earth of all its resources and its values, and now you think you're going to take it? Whoa. It's for everybody. Nah. Somebody should be struggling, having to pay mass amount of money for nothing. Shut the hell up. You are not doing this for nobody but yourself. You're not doing this for nobody but yourself. That is low functioning energy behavior you are the scum of the earth to even think to hurt your own grandchild and then what are you talking about what are you talking about here crazy leave me here lock me in a prison whatever you think you're gonna do i got a story too let's go i don't care what you do hmm. now i'm done talking so we can sit here as long as you want. And if you keep making me sit and wait, I'm going to start talking. Mm. I'm going to start releasing. While her demands make little sense now, she'll soon dive into chilling details that piece together a disturbing narrative with harrowing implications. In the meantime, Mia decides she's waited long enough. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. Y'all ain't got no authority. Matter of fact, let me go. Y'all ain't read me no rights. Y'all ain't read me. Man, this woman should have been locked up like 10 years ago, man. 
Yeah, have a seat. Then, 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 what's we doing? What y'all ain't doing that? We're going we're to be in there talking to you. Wait, because I've been here some, for some some time. You've been here for about 35, 40 minutes? No, it hasn't been. Yes, ma'am. No, it hasn't been. Okay. No, we're it just, hasn't we're been. We're going to be in right now talking to you. Just a sec. Give me just a sec. Y'all watching me. I know you watching me. Talk about it's been on 30 minutes. Then longer than that. Stop it. It's been hours. I know what you're doing. Let me out of here. With her self-control hanging by a thread, Mia's behavior soon plunges into a dramatic downward spiral, setting the tone for the upcoming interview. You wanted to silence me. You should have accepted me, but you wanted to judge me, okay? Except After camping me, taking all the resources out of the land, racking and killing up the buffaloes, and now that we ain't got nothing. Now I'm saying you're going to jump the ship and take my shit to the casino. Seconds later, two detectives find. Yo, this lady is crazy. How was she out on the street? Yo, how was she out on the street? I I don't know. I would ah oh, man. I would not have opened my door to this woman even if she was my mother. I would not have opened my door if she was angry. I would not have let her in. That is crazy. This is not normal behavior, right? This is not normal behavior. And this is why we have to get our anger issues in check. As, as, as black people, we have to know that normally we don't, that's not how people function, just being that angry, fully angry. That's not how people function, right? It's dysfunctional. So when... A, a grandparent comes to the house and she's losing it like this, a, a lot of the kids won't even know the difference because this is normal. This is all they've seen their whole flipping life. Not realizing that this is mental health issues. There's something wrong. There's something wrong. This is not normal. That's crazy. And they join Mia in the interrogation room though the current state of things leaves them with a less than ideal first impression. Oh, what happened? <sighs> we gotta fix this, man. After the detectives take a moment to reset the room and Mirandize their suspect, questioning finally begins. So what happened tonight? Well, you don't look like a bad person. So apparently something had to transpire that set these events in action. I wonder clearly if she's going to talk to them because clearly she doesn't like these white people. She does not like white people. So I wonder if she's actually going to talk to them. Let's, let's, I'm intrigued. The world's made me upset. Oh. Back at the hospital, talk. the baby's mother, Destiny, she who talking. was in a long-term relationship with Mia's son, begins to explain her version of events. As she retells what happened, it quickly becomes apparent that this heartbreaking incident is far more complex than anyone first realized. Can you tell me what? You said something happened. It, it, something's been going on recently. A couple of days ago, she, my baby was crying while I was asleep. And she woke me up screaming at me and, and stuff. And then she kind of left me alone. And then later that day, she was saying I tried her, I tried her, and she was like trying to like, she was screaming at me and I didn't know what I did to her. And she came and she apologized and she, she was sorry and then she's fighting demons and all this other crazy witchcraft stuff. Whoa. Meanwhile, Mia continues to keep her version of events to herself. However, she won't stay silent for long and her unrestrained rantings will soon erupt beyond anything they could have imagined. I'm not talking anymore. So there's nothing we can do to help you. That's what you're saying? Not a thing in the world. Other than letting me go and giving me my stuff, dope. Can I ask you what stuff did you Yeah, what are you talking yours? about? I, you know what you got in mind. We ain't doing that. We ain't not doing that. Don't act stupid. If you want to act stupid, then act stupid. But you're not stupid. The only reason we're in here 
is to get your side of the story. That is it. Because there's, as you know, two sides to every story. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Though Mia refuses to explain herself, Destiny shares the eerie details from that night. Then today, she was saying she was screaming at ghouls, screaming, get off me, like, get off me, and don't you know what I'm doing? Like, there was like demons or something, and she said, I know you're in my house, I know you can hear me. And then she woke me up, and she threw me on the floor, and she punched me in my mouth, and then she started punching me in my head, and then... After the attack, Destiny explains that she ran with her baby to the bedroom belonging to Mia's mother and locked the door. So you're just going to let people think that you're an absolute monster. You're good with that. I'm not a monster. I know you're not a monster. We know you're not a monster. a monster. Agreed. And guess what story we have? We've got everybody's side of the story. And guess who the bad guy is in their eyes? Me. Yeah. Um, and I'm the one that's crazy. I I get all of that. And she started shooting at the door and I heard the shots and I didn't I didn't know it was a real gun. Okay, so since she started shooting at the door, how many shots did you hear? I don't know, one, two, maybe she started shooting at the door and then she kicked open the door. Wow. And then I don't know if she kicked it open or broke it open. I don't know how she got in the door, but she tried to shoot me. She was pointing a gun at me and I was running. According to the report, Mia's mother was also injured as she allegedly grappled with Mia over the gun, causing it to fire. While the bullet missed her, the hot flash from the muzzle caused visible burns on her forehead. So where, she, where was the baby at this she point? She was sleeping on the bed, but after she couldn't get to me, she shot the baby. Oh. You're the only one that can tell us otherwise. Who else is going to? No one we've talked to is, I promise you. Not lying to you. I won't lie to you one time while we're sitting here. He stalled me. She is pissing me off, man. I ain't going to lie to you. I won't lie to you. <laughs> there has to be. Oh, man. Let's, let's just keep watching. They stalled me. They raped me. Killing. What? We don't care Wait, about that. <laughs> I'm hurt. I know you are. Look at you. I'm struggling. I can feel it in this, but they have taken everything from me. I shouldn't have to live like that. Man, that's why I can't be a police officer, man, because I would have just told her to shut the hell up and tell me what happened. What you, what you mean they did this, they did that to you? I don't care what happened to you. I don't care what happened to you. And what your what your struggles are, what you're struggling with. I, I don't care about that. Why did you do this? What what happened? It's what I want to know. I don't want to hear no other story. This is crazy. Yeah, I couldn't be a police officer. I don't have the patience. That's all I have. It ain't just about it being cluttered. You get tired of picking up and cleaning up after a, a, in a house. And then you turn around and you call and you ask for somebody to fix something and they don't come fix it. But they keep going up on my rent. They've been going up on my rent. I've been there 17 years. I'm going to get a job. I can't get a job to pay me worth nothing. I know who I am in this world. They have held me down and kept me down and they have raped and pushed and took everything from me every time I go to a job. Mia's sister reveals that she has experienced dramatic life changes that may be driving her erratic behavior to unsettling extremes. Mm. She just lost her job last night. Okay. She heard her boyfriend broke up and he told her that she was basically like, she she has no motivation. She she has no, no hustle okay. and... They've been going at it for a long time. She's going through a heartbreak, a breakup. Has she said? A, a, she lost her job yesterday at 9.30 last okay. night. I can't even move out. All I can do is rent. Then you want to talk about, oh, we can take care of you. No, I want you to take care of me. You could have paid me. I'm angry. I don't know. As Mia continues to unleash a torrent of frustrations, 
The God. worst has yet to come. Jesus Christ. I want the back pay, the right pay that I should have got paid. You're supposed to take care of me. Because I was taking care of you. It angers me. While Mia hints that her anger stems from financial struggles, it's unclear how those frustrations would amount to such a horrific action right. taken toward an innocent child. Right. However, additional details about her recent behavior suggest a far more disturbing descent into a twisted reality. There is more. Has she, you said she's been, she was doing a lot of demons. Yeah, she's been like hallucinating for a couple weeks. She's been screaming and screaming okay. and all this other stuff. And we've never gotten into any. Schizo, huh? She is schizo. Hallucinating. Couldn't be from drugs. She's not on drugs right now. This is this is something that it's in the head. Schizo. Crazy, man. Type of argument or anything okay. ever. Hmm. Why your granddaughter? That was my granddaughter. Who was she? I don't know, but that was my granddaughter. How do you know? Because that thing that was in my house. And that's why I could not sleep. And that's why I was fighting. And I've been fighting for my life. For the past few nights, I have not been able to sleep. But she's sleeping in my house like a log. Like she's a demon. He's a baby. <laughs> Her baby in there crying. And she's in there like a log. So is the demon gone? No, I didn't get the demon. My mom protected the demon. She was saying, remember Malachi, you can't have any babies. That's a demon. That's that's a white girl. That's a white girl. Okay. Has she said anything like that Never. prior to Never. recently? Never. Wait, 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 what? Oh, I see. I see. I see. Y'all see it, right? I'm getting the, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting the story now. Yeah, I, I'm catching up. I see. It's a lot deeper than this. Uh, I, I need you to know that it's a lot deeper than this. We've got time. This goes into the government. This goes into a wealthy families. How does that pertain to your family specifically? Because they made a deal with them for them to come over here. Mm. And we were going to teach them how to farm. And then that turned into them taking our land mm -hmm. and us working for them. And then them building civilizations. I mean, specifically, she is talking about racism, you right jokers. <laughs> the ones that are in the house with you. No, White they girl. just depend on me to right. do everything. Buying diapers, formula, no. buying all that? They do that for her. Then why judgment on the baby? It, it wasn't just on you, See, baby. On you hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me, let me put myself on the screen here. I had a conversation with, with a guy in my comment section. I, you know, regarding the, the last... Uh, one of the last videos that I posted where we're talking about the snow bunny um, woman that wanted to date black guys, right? Only black guys. She didn't want to date anybody else. And I was talking to a guy in my comment section who said to me that this was not an issue. This didn't mean nothing. It doesn't mean anything. Sir, do you see now that it means something? Do you see it? What I was trying to tell you? It matters. <laughs> in, in an ideal world, it should not matter. It should not mean anything. Race and, and dating outside of your, 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 your race and culture shouldn't matter in an ideal world. Now, we don't live in an ideal world. We live in a sinful world that is so far removed from what God intended it to be. And this is what we got. And what I'm trying to tell you is that 
you know, when I speak about dating within your race, I'm just talking about the common grounds. I'm not telling you that there, there won't be problems, right? Especially in today's world where even dating in, 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 within your race is now not not a, not an advantage anymore because everyone is westernized. I'm saying that if you're trying to find common ground, it's probably better to date within your race. If I want to eat my my uh, food from my country, I'm I, I I would marry someone that is from my country so that we can both eat the same food, right? Otherwise, I have if I marry someone from Japan, I have to eat Japanese food sometimes. I'm not telling you like don't do this, don't marry anyone outside of your race i'm not telling you that at all i'm just tell, telling you like there could be an issue and and if you're not well adjusted to cohabiting with someone outside of your race it could bring up issues and this my friend is one of the issues that we are experiencing in this video crazy 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 I said, we've got talk to everyone. I know that. Yeah. Why the baby and the mom? Because they and your mom, right? They don't belong in my family. They're what? They don't belong in my family. Okay. They're corrupting my family. How so? And like I said, this does go back further. Hmm. I know you don't want to hear that, but it does. As her accusations and complaints mm. over mm. her son's mm. girlfriend continue, it soon becomes clear that her resentments are not limited to her own family. She's not trying to go get a job. She's not trying to go get no education. No, you're not getting in this line. That, not this lineage. We don't do that. Not this we lineage. We earn, we work. We can't even get our basic needs met. Whoa. What that's about? You want to keep on making new iPhones and cell phones and all that, and, the, and, the, and you, they ain't coming out with new features. For what? And now with cell phones up to $1,300? For what? Look at Congo. Y'all know how they cry. They feel like I feel. Congo feels like I feel. Detectives still grappling to make sense of her motive return to questions surrounding six-month-old Listen, you don't got to make sense of nothing. This woman is out of her mind. You don't got to make sense of nothing. Just throw, throw her in the jail, lock her up, and never let her out. If you're going to let her out, the only place she needs to go is into a psychiatric, psychiatric hospital. Nowhere else. Lock her up and put her in chains. This is wild to, to, to equate all the things that happened to your ancestors as, as though they are happening to you right now. And then you're taking it out on, on, on a baby, shooting a baby in the head. That is crazy, right? That is not the way to go to move forward. That's not normal behavior. Right? I don't care how mad you are. The way for you to for us to move forward, this is not it at all. We we got to build our, our own world where we can make progress and, and and actually, you know, acquire things, right? But no one's coming to save you and being mad and holding grudges and resentment at, at white people for what? These aren't the people that did that to you. The people that did, did those things to you were long gone. And the, just because life is hard for you doesn't mean nothing. You have to make life what you want it to be. You have to make life what you want it to be. Take action and, and really, you know, try to, try to take steps that enable you to have an easier life. That is what I'm going to say. But this lady is, this is not normal behavior and it's just wild to see. My Rob. Talking about the baby. What about the baby? Why? Why did you pass judgment on her? Is that also an attack on the mother? My family. Was her family? Yeah, it was to hurt my family. Do you think you succeeded in hurting your family? 
Crucified. That was what I was supposed to do. Mm. You crucified yourself? And no. that's what I was supposed to do. They crucified me. So I had to crucify them. That was the judgment, unfortunately. What what I wanted, what they asked for. Why tonight? Because I saw who was trying to steal my stuff. Yeah. The wrong people. When did you first find out about this? Hmm. I've been going through for a while. I've been suffering for a while. Mm. Yeah. You know what I was thinking too just now while while she was talking? When racism in the wrong in the wrong hands is it's a problem. Race racist ideas, racist topics, racist conversation or or conversations about race in the wrong hands could be a, a, a terrible thing. Like someone who's already mentally unstable. If that's all they're thinking about race and the, how they are victims and these are the people that came to take their land and take the bu buffaloes and take their money take turn them into slaves took away their dignity grapes them and all the stands if that's all you're thinking about you got to you got to find different things to think about because yeah, your world is 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 looking bleak, and it could it could lead down this path of hate and resentment, of trying to get one over the other people and making them your competition. These people aren't your competition; you are your competition. So yeah, racist conversations in the hands of a wrong of of, of a mentally unstable person could be dangerous. It could be very dangerous. And that's that's a lesson for me too, like making these contents. Sometimes we talk about race. I like to talk about anything, everything, right? But sometimes you don't know where your message is going. So it's it's important to try to like package this these messages in a way that also, you know, you get you get solutions at the end of the day and not just talking about problems from a victim mindset, right? We want to talk about problems but have solutions to how to fix this these these problems and not from a victim mindset. We are not victims. Whatever happened a long time ago happened a long time ago and this lady here is this is just crazy behavior. After attack, after attack, after attack, after attack, after attack, after attack, after attack. After attack, after attack, after attack. How long? I'm 43 years old was mercy for real. I knew your secrets. I know all the secrets. I don't want to spill nobody's secrets and business. Just give me what you owe me. You said mercy. Yeah, mercy. That makes a lot of sense. But after I kept getting attacked and attacked and attacked because they was trying to take my life, I went, and just, I went ahead and just said, I ended it. I don't want to fight no more. I'm sick of this. This world is evil and wicked. But I went you. to the church. They judged me. They did not want to cover. With the mention of the church, the detective seizes the opportunity to probe Mia's beliefs and question her views what for, on man? forgiveness. What, okay, what happened to her However, in the end? I'm going to skip. Could prepare them for I'm going to skip for confession. guys. Covers a multitude of sins. You got to be the one that's willing to love first. Soon, the intrigue Soon, the intended target of her speech becomes utterly vague making it impossible to discern whether she's addressing anyone in particular or simply anyone who might be listening. Judge now, let she be judge. Let people be people. Let people be people. Hmm. Judge now, let she be judge. Whatever God got for you, he got for you. Period. Stop spoiling and poisoning the earth. He's talking to she white people. Y'all don't know who she's talking to? She's Stop talking to white down people. Roads, talking to y'all. Building bridges and stuff like that. Building up buildings and stuff. Go connect with nature. Learn to garden. Learn to forge. Learn what life is. 
because it ain't in computers, it's not in social media, it's, it's not working a job. That wasn't how you was created to live, that was not the life meant for you. Her relentless tirade wow. then takes a new direction. Top, top consultant, sir, consultancy services. Pay up. McDonald's. Pay up. What? Wendy's. Pay up. Popeye's. Pay up. Jet's Pizza. Pay up. Huh. <laughs> ah, Mr. Bill. Okay. Pay up. All the big pharma. Pay up. Banking systems that, that aren't black owned. Pay up. United States government. Pay up. Elon Musk, pay up. Tesla wasn't discovered and by you. That was a black uh, thing. That was, mm -hmm. that was black technology. Bring back my heirloom seeds. Bring back my heirloom seeds, because I know you got them in a the ball. I want them. Bring back my heirloom seeds. Heirloom I seeds? Want them. What the hell is heir heirloom seeds? Stop tearing up the earth. You need your greenery. You need your trees. So many things don't went extinct because y'all done tore up the world. Y'all greedy. The heart of men is bad. What? It's not the heart of the woman that's bad. It's the heart of the men in this world. Y'all wrong. I'm gonna turn around and say narcissists. Covert narcissists. No, I'm not a covert. I love. And I understand where I was immature in some areas. But once I got here, nah. Why y'all made me go through my rebirth? Nah. Maybe when I was Rihanna, <laughs> yeah. They knew who I was. And anybody that was in the Rihanna camp, I love y'all. Y'all knew y'all queen. Y'all knew y'all real queen. It's not until Beyonce becomes Queen B. <laughs> and she becomes me. As her long-winded tirade comes to an speech, end, Mia leaves these final bone-chilling thoughts. Rebuild and nourish Mother Earth back to health. That's what this is about. You have to nourish her back to health or you are going to die. Whoa. And that was the price to pay for mercy. Otherwise, y'all all gonna lose y'all soul. And who wants that? Because I know what that felt like. You saw how it ripped me. It hurt to do that. And it hurt to see that they was trying to bring him back like that. Not my lineage. I'm sorry, not my lineage. You have your lineage, you keep your lineage. You can't touch this one. Y'all made it clear that we wasn't a part of y'all from the very beginning. That we weren't a part of none of your constitution. When she, she is big racist. Big, big racist. That's, that, that's what she is. She is mad racist. Well, she... And, and just delusions. Like, she's crazy. Like, literally crazy. She should not be walking the, the, the streets. She should not be in a home with people. She should have been locked up. Packed up with meds, right? Sedated if you have to. But there's no way that she should have been living with anybody. From the things she's saying, she is Rihanna. She is the Queen Bee, Beyonce. They are trying to embody her. She is the real queen. All these other fake celebrities that everyone is looking, placing on pedestals, they are trying to copy her, is what she's telling you. I ain't mixing and mingling. Not after what happened and not the way they did people. Mia Desiree Harris is currently being held at the Butler County Jail on four counts of felonious assault and one count of improperly discharging a firearm. 
The judge set her bond at $1.5 million. I couldn't let y'all have my son. That's why the judgment came down. Mm. I seen what you did to my people. Mm. And I can't let you do that no more. Mm. Mm. That's why you couldn't be in my lineage. You're wicked. You're wicked. Mia Desiree Harris entered a plea deal of not guilty by reason of insanity in January 2024. However, Prosecutor Michael Moser informed us in a conversation that authorities determined forensically that Mia Harris was not insane. On September 17, 2024, Mia entered a new plea deal and pleaded guilty to... What you mean she's not insane? No, that's not normal behavior. She is insane. She is definitely insane and she'll be on medication. She is definitely ha insane, guys. The police, the popos, 4 4. No, no, no not the 4 4. <laughs> 5 0. <laughs> Shows you how much I'm in the streets, right? But um, she is insane. This is not normal behavior at all. We don't act like this. This, this, this is how crazy people act. Normal people do not hallucinate and see things and classify human beings as demons. Normal people don't do that. That is mental health crisis behavior. And for you to think she's not mentally insane, like, that's crazy. I know that she should face punishment for what she's done. Whether she's insane or not, she should face punishment for what she has done. Maybe that's their point. It's like, well, she, you know, she needs to face trial and be classified as not insane. No, sir, she is insane. And she, st she should still be classified as guilty and face the right judgment. Assault. In exchange for her plea, three other counts of felonious assault and one count of firing a weapon into a habitation were dropped. However, authorities have reserved a plea to indict for murder in the event that the child should die as a consequence of the assault. According to Butler County Sheriff Richard Jones, the baby girl, Myra, was rushed to Cincinnati Children's Hospital in grave condition and underwent at least two surgeries. Reports state that the child was present at the trial with her mother, and Prosecutor oh. Michael Moser informed us that the child has been doing miraculously well. Thank the sentencing God. Day Thank God. Man, you know, the way God made babies is such a beautiful thing. Um, children can recover. They can bounce back. And, and, and really, this is one of those cases where this child has fully recovered from, from what, they, what they went through. But this story, it's like a movie I was watching. It's a crazy story. Really, really crazy story. And I, I don't know. I said all I needed to say during during the, the, the video. You guys saw my reaction. I was as shocked as you were. I was as shocked as you guys were. Let me know what you think about this video right here. Let me know what you think. This is crazy, crazy video. And for all of you guys talking about you know, if you try, if you if if you have it in your mind to be racist, take it out of your mind. There's no need to be racist, right? There's no need at all to be racist. That's not your your portion in life to be racist. There are things that you know we have power to do, and we focus on the things that we are in control or we have the power to to do. If that's to overcome things, we overcome. If that's to achieve things, we we achieve. We don't go around hating on people for things that it's not their problem. All right. Anyways, guys, I'm out of here. Take it easy and have a good night. Peace. Okay, I'm reloaded.